Another Max Verstappen victory in Canada, but there were several impressive performances over the weekend in Montreal. These are my driver ratings for the Canadian Grand Prix. We're kicking things off with Williams driver Alex Albon, who gets a 5. I correctly predicted that he would start and finish in the top 10. He produced a superb defensive tyre preserving drive to finish 7th in Montreal, a fabulous result which moves Williams up a place in the constructors standings. Great work from Alex Albon. Next we have the race winner Max Verstappen who gets a 4.5. Not Red Bull's strongest weekend in terms of their dominance and their winning margin but realistically was Verstappen under true threat from Alonso or Hamilton behind? I don't think so. Top job all round, took a great pole in the wet so uh, job done for Max. Fernando Alonso is next, he gets a 4, he recovered that lost position from the start with a nice move into the final corner on Lewis Hamilton and then pulled away. Managed an issue which may or may not have been fictitious, um, but he was looking to challenge Verstappen so he was disappointed with not being able to go for the win, but P2 is still a great result for Aston Martin. Lewis Hamilton's next, he gets a 4, a great start to steal second from Alonso, couldn't hang on to it but brought home P3, the best Mercedes probably could have asked for considering their car wasn't perfectly suited to the circuit Gilles Villeneuve. Alpine's Esteban Ocon gets a 3, another good performance from the Frenchman. I said ahead of the weekend that he would beat his teammate Pierre Gasly in both qualifying and the race. He did just that, he brought home points, he was also beaten by Alex Albon, but Ocon's in a really nice vein of form at the moment, ticking over points for Alpine and really becoming that strong midfield driver that we thought he could be. Lando Norris is next, he gets a 3 and this is mostly because he provided some entertainment with his spectacular dive bomb moves into the hairpin. Charles Leclerc is next, he gets a 2.5 in the Ferrari. He recovered his race nicely even though qualifying was a bit of a disaster and his teammate Carlos Sainz also did the same, he gets a 2.5. Ferrari did a strategy and their drivers capitalised, so a good job from them all round, even though qualifying was messy. George Russell also gets a 2.5, he did a great job in qualifying but then he did throw his Mercedes at the wall. He did do a good job in recovering that, was set to score some points before they had to retire the car, so it was a, an up and down weekend for George. Oscar Piastri gets a 2.5 as well. He qualified in the top 10 but couldn't hang on for any points in the race. Valtteri Bottas gets a 2.5, this was a bit more like it from Bottas even though he did lose a place on the line to Lance Stroll but much better, more competitive from Alfa Romeo and the Finn, good to see him back at the sharp end of the midfield. Nico Hülkenberg also gets a 2.5, he did lose that front row grid slot because he sped under red flags in qualifying but the timing of the lap and to deliver the lap was fantastic. It's just a shame that the Haas seems to reverse in the race because it chews its tyres up so much. Sergio Perez gets a 2. I don't know what's going on with Checo. He looked like he could challenge for the title earlier in the year. We're not even halfway through the season and that is all but gone now and it's just a question of when Max Verstappen takes the crown. Pierre Gasly also gets a 2. He was completely hamstrung by being knocked out in Q1 after being blocked by Carlos Sainz in qualifying and he couldn't really make any progress in the race. Zhou Guan Yu gets a 2, it's a little bit of a disappointment for Zhou after a very impressive performance in Spain, but that's the way it goes sometimes in the midfield, sometimes you have good days, sometimes you have bad days. Lance Stroll gets a 2, despite getting points on home soil, his qualifying performance really wasn't good enough because it left him completely out of position to challenge the top guys with Alonso. Yuki Tsunoda gets a 2 as a bit of an anonymous weekend for the Alpha Tauri driver. Logan Sargent also gets a 2, again anonymous but he's still learning, let's cut him some slack. Kevin Magnussen gets a 1.5, a disappointing weekend for the Dane, he was Nick De Vries chosen victim of uh, crashing into this weekend and Nick De Vries gets a 1.5 as well for just that wild exchange with Magnussen where they both ended off in the escape road before doing 3 point turns to get themselves back on track. So they're my ratings for the drivers in Canada which leaves the average top 10 standings looking like this with Perez now on level with the Mercedes drivers. And moving to the bottom half Yuki Tsunoda drops back into 11th after a strong weekend for Albon. Let me know what you think of my ratings and tell me which driver stood out for you most in Canada. As always give the video a like, share it with people if you really enjoyed it, subscribe for more Grand Prix content and thanks very much for watching.